Hello, I'm Nancy Lam. Welcome to my channel. Please join me today. I'm going to do a session about fake and I have to be very, very fair. It's a beautiful day. We're going to pick some beautiful fake and we're going to dry it. And then next thing, we shall share it or eat it. <laughs> eat it! Delicious! Eat it! Don't think that fig will, 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 will make you very mmm. But it's good. It's a cleanse. And you can eat it. And it's good for beauty. And it's good for skin. And it's good for cleansing your body. What else you want? Join me now to go and pick my fig. I'm going to pick some fig. And then later, I shall show you how I dry my fig for storage. Let's go. The grass is very wet and it's good for, for the earth. And look, we got a fresh fig here. See? Oh, that's a very, very ripe one. Woo! Woo! Look, this is a lovely one. We have to lift them up and look and see where you can get more fit. Look at that, there's another one. Woo! And look at that one. Look at that one. Just that one here. Can you see? Woo! Twist it, pick it. What do you think? A handful of it. And now I'm going to put in the basket to get it settled and to see what we have to clean. And although you think this might be a bit too ripe, but it's so nice. The taste, the texture, the sweetness. It's beautiful. Who can say what fig do to you? This is fig from the garden. Look at that. They look beautiful. And they are delicious. We're going to do some work today. Do some work, sorry, put it here so it's nearer for me. Put some work for the fake to do justice and I'm going to dry it. This is what I've done yesterday and it, once I dry it, it's going to look like that. And don't be greedy when you dry it. Give enough space for them to go through the heat and dry it proper. Oh, you'll be wondering what Nancy do with the tip gone. This is my old knife that I carry everywhere in my kitchen to cook. And I love my knife. First thing, you pick off the top of the fig. You open it up. Just look at that. You open it up, look at that, and I like it cut into half and cut in the middle of three. So when it dry, it will just have enough space to breathe and the air can go through nicer. If you would want to do, uh, put it on the grill and, and grill it nicely with a little, a little of butter on it and one is really brown and tasty, put a nice piece of cheese on it. You can have any cheese. You can have blue cheese, you can have soft cheese, hard cheese. Just do that and use it as a starter. And with making it as a starter, and if you want it a bit um, tarty, 
Then what you do, you put a little bit of lime on it, on top of the cheese. Oh, I have time for you. If you watch me, I have time for you. You see? Thank you for watching me. This is how I dry my fig. Okay, once you fill them all up, yes? If you fill them all up, you give me a few more minutes, let me fill them all up and I come back to you. Fill that all up, give enough rooms and there you see what I got. Yes, can you see? They're all different colour, different, they're all ripe, they're all going to dry well and you can see what the result is. If I am not there to see you the ending of it, this is how it's going to be when it's finished. Dry, nice, yes? And these are all dry. So what you do is, you put this on the top and you cover it up. You can do if you've got plenty of fake apple pear and uh, you can just dry them and you turn it on and you hear the beautiful sound they're all singing in my dryer that's how you dry the fig I have an empty jar I have dry fig here what we do is put some fig in. You don't need to pile it up, just enough as a gesture. I think it looks beautiful. Do it that way. Because it's very crunchy. So that's it. What shall we do? We have a nice fresh cloth just measure it on the top here mm. I'm not a good seamstress but that would do put it this way into a square cut the line that's not good scissors but that would do Oh, oh, lose you, lose you. That's it. You can have other other cloth if you want to, but I just have this. Happen to have this. You can use it. You can use all the remnants from your dress, uh, cloth, or you can get a little beautiful, little beautiful, beautiful handkerchief. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I think it looks quite nice. Just a gesture. And if that's it. You don't need to tie a bow and just lovely. Isn't that wonderful? I think it's wonderful. Next thing, I'm going to dry you some apples and pear when I have time. When all these dry, I shall do another drying for you. This is what I want you to see me. And please put a thumb up for me. I love you all. I like to give you more. Bye.